Hello, my friends, and I happen to be the underdog of the underrated. Yeah, that's how I first called myself when I started out on YouTube. I call myself the underdog of the underrated because I did mostly underrated games. And people, when I first started off, I got attacked because my game, my gameplay style was different. And because it was unorthodox, and there have been times I used cheats and everything else. Well, over the years, I said, you know what? Hell that. Because I didn't care about, you know, how I beat the game as long as I beat the game. So this is for those who are actually starting off doing Let's Plays. Or even, or even the fact that you're trying to make it into doing a Let's Play. Take some advice from me. And... and and take this to heart when I mention all this that I'm about to say to you guys. Even those who have been there. That got a lot of years underneath their belt. So whether you do a walkthrough or you're doing a let's play. You always have to respect those play styles that are a little different and unorthodox because deep down we're all gamers we're not gonna play the same game much like say the next person who plays this game plays it so the first thing for those who are starting off with um, something like this And even, and even those who have more underneath their belt, they need to take note of this. The one thing you need to do is, you need to be comfortable with yourself. For, you see, in the last couple of days I've been on Reddit. I've been in the Let's Play section of um, the, the, the Let's Play community on Reddit. And most times I've read some posts and replied to some posts about that they're trying to get into the circuit and they want to get themselves known and everything else. And what I don't hear enough of is, you know, people being somewhat comfortable with themselves. And what I mean by comfortable with themselves is your voice. The way you treat yourself. You know, that sort of comfortable, that's what I'm talking about. Because most times, people feel intimidated by their own voice and they shouldn't be. Trust me, I first started on YouTube in 2006. I hadn't done anything within those first four years on YouTube other than just watch videos. And I watched videos more than I posted comments. And, that's, and that was okay. Excuse me. 2010. In June 2010, I started doing Let's Plays. And, you know, first started off doing, you know, early, the earliest random co-op co um, videos with only um, 
one person at the time, and that was Sheena, who was basically with me playing um, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy and a few others. Then after that, we grew to a sizable number of, say, five or so people. Number The number kind of grows or shrunk or something, but we are now like a group. So anyway, <clears throat> after I've done a few co-op videos, I started doing, you know, I first started doing playthroughs. And the difference between a playthrough and a let's play is that a playthrough you're just technically playing through a game without any commentary. So, you know, doing non-commentary versus commentary. One of my buddies, Ryu, from Breath of Fire, he does mainly playthroughs. He doesn't really do, you know, let's plays, but he does playthroughs of obscure games. Just like me, but I do let's plays of obscure games and cult classics. So, therefore, we work both sides of the spectrum. And sometimes... You know, off camera, you know, we share a few things back and forth, you know. You know, n nothing like personal, personal, but, you know, like, channel-wise, should you should I do this or should I not do this? And I said, well, we, we do that anyway sometimes. We off-screen share our projects with each other. So it's like, within a group, we do share each other's projects. So it's like, we talk about what we're doing on our individual channels and whatnot. So, you know, we're just being, we're just having our meeting and, you know, have our, like, little 20-minute talk about, you know, random stuff that happened during the day. Or if not that, we're just basically like, okay, well, what you got going on your channel? What you got going on your channel? This is what I got going on my channel. And, you know, we, we poke at each other, you know, it's all in good fun. Let me tell you, when I first started off doing, you know, um, Let's Plays, the one thing I just really wasn't aware of was, like, I have a voice. I have a voice. I can talk. I can actually read this stuff. I don't have to... I don't have to, like, read it to myself, but I can actually put something into it. I can bring it to life. I can do this. I can do that. I can do all sorts of things with this. So, what I did was, you know, I, growing up, I, I read a lot of books, so the one thing I like to do is bring a story to life. So, that's why I've done most of my Let's Plays, but basically... I wanted to bring what I read to life. Just give them my give them some kind of voice. If they didn't have voice actors, I would just imagine what kind of voice they would have. But if they have voice actors, I would try to emulate what that voice actor does sound like and just make it real real close as to their actual voice actor. Like, say, Monokuma, for example. Monokuma sounds a lot like this. The entire time, he has to really sound a bit nasally and very high-pitched, but not squeaky high-pitched, you know what I mean? Or something like Mickey Mouse. Oh, hi, everybody. This is what you call a very high-pitched voice, but not that squeaky. Ho-ho! And then there's a, a Raleigh, Hi -ya. which sounds a bit like Kirby, because they both sound, they both sound like that, but you know, like squeaky. <laughs> you know, it's like I like to make something different. I like to bring something to the table, and you know, that's the one thing I like doing with my let's plays. I like bringing something to the table, 
as far as a Let's Play is concerned. I like to enjoy myself. I like to have fun with it. I want to just basically say, this is what I do for a living. And I'm an aspiring voice actor, by the way. So I'm working both sides of the spectrum while playing the game. And at the same time, if I'm doing voices, I want to listen closely to how the voice would sound to me just so okay if I need to emulate it while I'm in character well I can read it just as I would picture them saying it as close as, as, as to it as I possibly can now why I mention this is because <clears throat> as I said before it's being comfortable with your voice you you had to be comfortable with yourself you have to be comfortable with your performance and one thing I've heard too much of and especially from some other less players is it's not only that but it's just like for one thing don't whatever you do don't ever 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 depress yourself to where you call yourself stupid on camera you call yourself a moron you call yourself an idiot you call yourself this that and everything under sun and you want people to flock to you I said people are not gonna flock to someone who constantly downs themselves that's just saying you're depressed you you're sad you you know you got this going this going this going I'm like you know what to be honest yeah I may have been given a shit hand in life but you know what I can flip it around as I have something that basically needs to be addressed and let me tell you, it wasn't easy because before I couldn't really talk as quote unquote eloquent as I am now because, you know, pressure. And before everything happened, I felt so pressured that I really couldn't get my words across. In my early videos, like, say, um, I guess I would say when I really got busy, that was like during. 2013 or something like that there have been times I sounded so nervous when I was doing commentary and at the same time I'm doing both commentary as well as story and it requires a lot of muscle memory to do that so that's so the one thing I've been doing is like with that said it's like okay kind of ease off on the muscle memory it's like when you know it's like dead air it's like it's not dead air if I'm really like focused on getting through one part of the game or you know especially if it's a maze I'm like okay did I go here or did I go there I'm really talking I'm really just saying okay according to this it says this so basically I am in my zone when I said according to this well what the map says is you take this route and this route and you go here and you know take a dip right here take a take a right over here take a you know go up go down you know I'm really just into the game so it's not like it's dead air it's like no it's not dead air it's basically you're seeing me work so that's one thing you should be aware of so another thing you need to know if you're going to be a let's player or if you say you're going to do a series of videos what you need to know is this being a let's player means you have taken a commitment to saying you're making strategy guides because if you really think about it that's what we're doing strategy guys we're making strategy guys we're making video strategy guys just so okay 
we're telling you how to play the game or we're making a suggestion if you ever run across this game you do or do not have to get it for yourself as at least we're playing it to pique your curiosity whether you want to get it that's personal preference another thing you need to know if you're going into being a let's player the first thing is don't worry about the algorithm that's the most important thing the first and only thing you should never worry about is the algorithm that's something that's beyond you and because YouTube is where it is right now it's like don't even worry about subs don't even worry about views because it you know just make the content you know just make the best content you can make for yourself not for anybody else it's like oh I hope I said like, first off don't do that and I've gave so many so many people this kind of advice on reddit and I had to share it here because those who might be watching I said they're for, those for you know those are for people be they veterans or newbies if you're veterans to being a let in, in let's play help them out I said all I'm doing is just helping helping out those who want to get into this I mean the most important thing that I feel is most important is that you don't take this shit seriously and what I mean by that is don't get stuck up in your feelings you get a game over you get a game over shrug it off so you know whatever as if you're using emulators save states ready your button at any moment for a safe state because you can never tell I would also recommend that you pocket a cheat you may not need it but it's better to have it and not and and not need it than not need it and not have it so therefore I will say if anything pocket at least a cheat to get rid of a grind session you know because there are some RPGs out there that would have the worst kind of grind and the worst kind of grind will be in the money department it's not in the experience the experience will just you know exponentially go up but in some cases some games have a very sad draw of money of money drops and I'm playing my share of RPGs and some of them it's like this you would get a high boost of experience but a shitty amount of money especially if you go into the higher levels like almost damn near in game levels but they don't give you like enough like at least like say four digits worth if not four digits at least close to five digits worth of money that you can probably spend on getting the be better armor or weaponry or something like that or even with items you know take that into account too another thing and I feel this is so 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 important don't be afraid of the community because those who say they want to get into it you have to be aware that there are people who got nothing better to do than just pick on other people they're called trolls for a reason they like to pick on lesser known people because I was one of those those kind of people who have been picked on because I was picked on in life only because I have only because of two reasons one 
I was smart enough growing up. And two, I have a disability. To which I can't get rid of. Because I grew up with it. It's a lifetime disability. Can't get rid of it. But one thing you have to know is like... You gotta stand up for yourself. You can't let anybody push you around. For me... I can only tolerate so much. That's my thing. I can only tolerate so much until I basically have to say, you know what? If we got to talk about this like this, I said, understand it from my point of view. I said, I want you to understand where I'm coming from. You can't really just say, oh, well, you have to. I said, no. I'm doing this the way it needs to be done. I want to follow this to the very end. I say, if this doesn't work for me, I will come to you. I will ask your advice and I will go from there. However, it's going to work. I just want it to work for my sake, for my benefit. It's the same here. You're doing a let's play. You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. People start picking on you because it's not how they. It 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 is it, not how you know their ideal let's play is like. Okay, first off, there ain't no such thing as an ideal let's play. Cause in truth, everybody's gonna fuck up. And you know what? It's okay to fuck up. It's okay to do the following. Cut out certain parts of the let's play. So I don't like I don't like it when people cut out. I said I said I do. I said you don't want to see me go through a dungeon I already went through in the last part and then you asking me how'd you get out? I said I said look at the first look at the dungeon video when I first went in there follow what I did and then just take it backwards that's all simple as that I will also say that if you're doing a playlist I would say the smart thing would be get the videos out first then you make the playlist and then you put the then you put all the videos from number one to whatever your final video was of the let's play or playthrough and just you know just go from there and if you got a social media use it use your social media to say okay for those who are wondering, here's my playlist of this game. So for those who are wondering, hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Let me also say this, just just in case if um. I get picked on by the opposite sex for this, but let's playing is not only for men. There are women out there that do let's plays. And to that I say there should be more of you out there. There should be just as much women doing let's plays as there are men. Here's something I just do not like. I do not like the term girl gamer. Because have you ever heard of a boy gamer? It's like this. A gamer is a gamer. A gamer is someone who plays a game. So that someone means a boy and or male. Or a girl and or female. A male or female 
playing a game. That is a someone, a somebody. So therefore, never call, never, if, if you have to use that term, no, you're a gamer. Drop the sex. You're a gamer, period. I have no qualms about anybody doing Let's Plays. You know, I, I have no hatred towards anybody doing Let's Plays. I mean, there's some some games I'll follow, some games I won't follow. Not because, you know, I'm not interested in watching. It's just like, well, it might be a little bit different than what I experienced. But still, it's like I'm watching one series. I like to watch this series from start to finish. Then I'll start with the new, the, the secondary series and go from start to finish. But otherwise, it's like, Nah, no, just stick with one. It's the same thing with me watching anime. I like to start with episode one to where it finishes. And that to me is important because, like, I want to take my time and watch this. I don't want to binge watch because I'm like, I would get tired after watching, say, three or four episodes. Or, or some past, like, six episodes. Six or eight episodes. It's so like two to four, I'm okay with that. Six to eight, I'm like, um, okay, I can't watch all this. Not not if I'm sitting, you know, real comfortable or something like that. Because I have to be really comfortable in order to watch a certain series, you know, something like that. <sighs> I'm saying all this now because for those who are getting into Let's Plays, you, under, you ought to understand that it will indeed help you out. And I'm sharing my life about this to you because, you know, I basically am one of the proud of the few, the underdogs. Because, um, like I said, I have cerebral palsy and epilepsy I'm a type 2 diabetic I shouldn't even be here on this earth really I shouldn't I've escaped death twice once in an abusive relationship another when I had a heart attack I had only two lifelong surgeries in, on my person, and that's on my left leg and the right side of my chest. They had to install a stent to help my blood pump a lot more stronger. So normally, I shouldn't even be here. I should be dead, but here I am. I call myself the underdog of the underrated because that's what I am. I am an underdog. I'm basically that one person that usually gets underestimated because, oh, you're not going to amount to anything, blah, 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 this. This is what I've been told when I was a child. I was told, you know, I wasn't going to amount to anything. I was going to be retarded or, you know, all that stuff. They told my mo my mother this. The doctors, I should say. <clears throat> <clears throat> so over the years, it's like, you know, I had I went through a lot, a lot of tragedies in my life. And I'm still going through another tragedy. And I'm getting over it. But at least... <clears throat> I got a way to deal with it. Video games have been basically my go-to for many years. It has kept me from smoking, drinking, shooting up drugs in my system. Kept me from going out 
and um, gang banging and all that mess. It's kept me alive all these years. I've learned much from, say, my mother when she was alive. Because she taught me how to play video games. She taught me through Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man, I should add. I'm sharing my life to those who need to hear it and who want a little bit of inspiration at the same time for what it is worth and the time I'm putting in just to say oh hey don't feel down don't feel like you're scared you should never be scared of yourself you should never say you hate yourself you should never hate what God puts you on this earth to do you have a voice and thank God you do have a voice that means you have a power that can change lives that can tell people how it is like it is I'm telling you what it how it is you don't have to be like all the big name brands don't be like the name brands don't be like the you know the the big youtubers out there the ones who like to talk real loud and you know yell like like they're on a fucking roller coaster something like that. you know you know why do that I've seen far too many youtubers actually say I like how this person is and I like how this person is like I don't fucking care about this person I say if if you're on YouTube to get views it's not gonna work if you're here on YouTube to get subs it's not gonna work you can't just say I want subs immediately why it's like to this day even if I were to check my channel it's like oh more people sub to me I don't get notifications about who subbed me. I used to at one point, but now it's like I get notifications about who followed me on Twitch, and I get and I get it through OBS while I'm streaming. At one point, I didn't want to stream because I didn't want to be like anybody obnoxious. You know, I don't I don't want to be the obnoxious type of person that you know is too big for their own britches no I want to be something that's going to bring hope to some people whatever I do is like if I'm a writer I like to write something that'll just say hey don't worry you might start off like this now, but later on you're going to do even greater, better things in life. And the same thing here. This is something that I'm actually doing because I'm not saying this as a Let's Player. I'm not even saying this as a voice actor. I'm saying this as me being me. I'm saying this as Izzy. Why do I keep why do I keep upgrading my name? It's like why do I keep why did why did I go from underdog to Tenkaichi? I said, well to me the ten, Tenkaichi of gaming or the Tenkaichi basically if you never seen Dragon Ball Tenkaichi means number one under the sun or under the heavens or superior. In other words you are unique. That's what Tenkaichi, it, it means all these things. Number one under the sun, under the heavens, and unique. In life, that's what I want to be. I want to be that number one under the sun. I want to be able to just say before my life is up, I want to point right out to the heavens, up to the heavens, 
and out to the sun. And just give thanks where all thanks is due. The creator of the universe. He put me on this earth for a reason. And all I can say is, thank you. I did it. When I reach the summit of success, wherever that is, I haven't reached it yet. I'm still getting there. So YouTube is a part of that building process. It's the same thing with Let's Play. It's a building process. It's a commitment. That's something you have to just know. That's what you're in it for the long haul. You have to do this for what it's worth. Are you, it's, it's like this, you have to question, you have to question these things. It's very important. It's like, what am I doing this for? And it's the same thing I, I kind of have to leave as advice. If you're saying you're doing Let's Play, so one thing is, nobody want to hear about your setup. I mean, leave your setup as, as small and minute as possible. So you don't want to have to go through that. You don't want to have to go through, say, Yu-Gi-Oh!ism. And for those who have never seen the anime, that anime is so talkative because they had to explain their strategy. They had to explain this. They had to explain that. Like, you don't have to explain it. Please don't explain it. I say, if you have to do it, just go through meat and potatoes. Basically, if you're going through a certain game, do this, do that, do this. So, well, recap. This is what I did here. This is what I did there. And here we are right here. And... Going back to what I said, um, even for females. I mean, same rules apply. Being if you're male or female, don't be afraid of yourself. Don't be afraid to take the plunge into video games. You don't have to play a triple A title. I mean, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to get it. You don't really have to get a triple A title. You can get something like a Nintendo game. Super Nintendo, you can get Sega Genesis, you get Game Gear, you know, emulators. Emulators are the way to go. So that's how I made, that's how I made like a lot of videos. Emulator. All I needed was emulator and recording software. And all I had to do was like pay it once and that's it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a watermark and I wouldn't be able to use it. But, you know, all I had to do was pay it once. That's it. You don't have to take too much, you know, too much money. It's like, okay, well, there you go. You know, it's like this. Playing a video game should not be so hard. And trust me, I've seen some people that just sometimes they play certain games, but they never finish them. Like, so, so which is it? You are going to finish it or you aren't going to finish it? Because if you aren't, just, just do it as this. And I said this before. If you're going to do a first impression video, then either call it a review or first impressions video. But don't call it Let's Play. That's another piece of advice. Because if you're going to call it a Let's Play, you're saying you're about to take an endeavor to beat this game from start to finish. And there are, cer there are certain games that cannot be LP-able. LP Excuse me. There are certain games that cannot be LP-able because it's like, say this, they aren't worth LPing. They're worth vlogging, they're worth reviewing, but some games just aren't LPable. They have a use, but you know, other than that, 
If it's a one shot, just to show it off, great. If it's something else, that's great too. But otherwise, don't say, oh, I'm going to let's play this. Like, if you're going to let's play this, then say you are. But if not, don't do it. Because that, because what you're going to do is like, you might have a growing fan base or so. And they're wondering, when is the next episode of this? It's like what I'm doing now. I'm doing Trials of Mana that I used to do week on a weekly basis. Now I put it on Sunday because, well, there's not much game left. And if I'm going, and you know, I'm I'm probably going to see myself take a break from it, and probably do a second, and probably do a second story a little bit later. But you know, for the most part, I'm just going to do this. Just do a first run of it, and then probably do the second half of the characters, uh, at a later time. But at least I'm going to say, well, I'll come back to this, and maybe I might stream it. I don't know. Which don't sound so bad bad an idea. I might stream the second half of the uh, of the characters, so that way it'd be like, well, I did do it as a let's play, but I plan to do it as a I plan to do new game plus, say for a stream, bam. I can play it as long as I want to, like say for two three hours making progress. So hell, I can. Yeah, I can do whatever I want with. It. I can even have friends in on in on this, and you know, I can have you know myself playing this game at the same time. It's like I could be on Discord with my friends, and I can just like, okay, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this. So therefore, it's like, well, you're still. I said, yeah, I've beaten the game the first hand as let's play. Second half is being done as a stream. So therefore, I'm using both sense aside from that you know don't limit yourself as a ledge player don't limit yourself don't limit yourself as a if you're doing playthroughs if you say you're going to do it just just go ahead and do it try not to make it so hard on yourself to where oh you're going to let your sexuality define you you're going to let um your, your little setbacks just hold you back and saying, well, I, I I have an issue with talking. Well, don't we all? I have an issue with talking, too. But the only way I can fix that is basically go at my own pace. Like I'm doing right now. I've been talking for 43 hours. Just saying, oh, hey, this is who I am. And so even, even out of state, so please, it's the same thing. Don't say you're going to do a series but not, you know, continue it. If you're not going to continue it, then just say, okay, I'm not going to continue it. Don't leave people hanging like that. Because that's just saying, you know... You don't care about your fan base. I mean, I will say this. Your fan base should be as important, but not as important. The content you make should be just as important as the people who flock to your channel. But the one thing is, when you have people flock to your channel, they're expected to see something come from the channel owner. You create the content. That's what's most important. You created your own content. You put in the time to basically do the following. You put in an hour worth of content. You put in two hours of content. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But, you know, you have to at least pop in, say hi every once in a while. Because, is everybody happy? You know? You know, just pop in, you know, be a humble host. 
or hostess to your uh, to your um, people. You know, that's the one thing you should do. Uh, one of the main things you do. You should do that. You know, just have a little bit of etiquette when you, when you're doing videos. I said that's why I'm doing this. I said just in case there might be somebody that just lurked around my lurked around on my channel, and the first thing they saw was underdog. So why why are you saying all this? I said well, I said well you said, I'm glad you told. It's like. Say I get a comment that says, I'm glad you said this because I'm such and such and such. What if I got one of those comments that said, I said, well, I'm glad you actually did go through this. I'm glad that for some reason you said whatever you had to say. It's like, you know, it might be addressed to me. It's like, well, thank you for saying this. Thank you for this and blah, 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 blah. Because you never know. Somebody might be listening. They might need that little spark of inspiration. They might want that little pick-me-up say, hey, it's okay. Just don't feel like I'm putting you down. I'm saying don't be too ambitious to be doing this. But take it one step at a time. <clears throat> I mean, it is what it is. It's like the world stinks. But our lifestyle is what we make it. So therefore, this is a lifestyle that basically, whether you're loved or hated, you got to be respected for what you do. You're putting in the effort to do something outside what you would normally do. But you're having fun with it. And that's a universal law. You have to have fun with a game. Otherwise, what's the point in playing it if you do not enjoy it? You know what I mean? So please, for, for those who are season and not so season to the newbies uncertain or unsure because there's a difference between unsure and uncertain it might it might mean the same thing but it's more along the lines of how you feel about it take it what you will but really you want to succeed then, you know, just be yourself. That's why I've been all this time. I haven't been, I haven't been breaking out my persona. I haven't been, you know, doing anything like this. It's just basically, this is me. I'm an underdog. And everybody roots for the underdog. So, whatever happens, don't worry. The first step of success takes only the moment you step foot right out the door. Anyway, I've been Izzy. This has been my video. For those up and coming and those in between as Let's Players, and those who do playthroughs. So with that, take my advice to heart, and I'll see you next time. Until then, God bless. Have a safe and wonderful Labor Day. And with that, Dai Tenso, Tenkai Muso, And God bless. The Tenkaichi has spoken, and I am out.